before the tutorial starts, I would like to say that this is just part one of the bio pack. So I will get another tutorial with coding in Visual Studio. So this is just part one where we get the offsets. But make sure to like and subscribe if you like my work. And with that out of the way, let's go get on with the video. Baba boy, Baba boy, Baba boy, Baba boy. Welcome, boys. Today I will show you how to actually get the offsets of the force jump and if you're in the air or not. So. First of all, we need to actually uh, use the console in game. So, to use the console in game, because Left 4 Dead 2 is outdated and doesn't really respond that well, we will have to put dash console in the startup or launch options. So, you go here and properties set launch options console then we will start it I suggest you have the game in windowed as well it's much easier to use sheet engine which we will use later but not yet so Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Did I just lose it? Oh, sorry, my bad. Now, ah, there we go. So, to set the console to a specific binding, just uh, bind. I might use F1 toggle console. This will, when you press F1, Look at the console in game. Now we just have to restart because we need to set another thing. So now we, when we have binded uh, the console to a specific button, we can do this and now change from console to insecure. This will make the game run without VAC and you cannot get banned, but you cannot join back secure servers. So, this is very good for debugging if you are using a sheet. So, this should pop up, otherwise, you have done something wrong and you will get banned if you use a sheet that's uh, detected by back. So, now we just have to start a single player map. Let's uh, pick dog cannibal. So you go here and properties set launch options console. Then we will start it. Sorry folks, so this car is capable of miracles, but it can't you drive over. Press your hotkey that you said I set it to F one. We're twenty miles. It should open up the How's console the in game. I think we're walking. So, well, the ride was nice while if nasty. you've got it, all got right. it this far, then it's all good. Let's get back on foot. So remember now, the game is in safe mode, just so you cannot get banned. So we can actually use Shit Engine now. Do not use Shit Engine when you're not in insecure mode. So now we will attach it to Level Two. That's my other table. Now, in Left 4 Dead 2, if you want to make a jump, there's a specific value in the game. So, if you want to jump, it's plus one. And it has to go minus one for you to make another jump. And we actually can change it pretty easily. So, just like this, plus jump. And if we then the character will jump. Now we cannot jump because we haven't set it to minus jump. So it's not to back to it, its original state. But if we do this, then we can jump again. This information is important. 
because we will impl implement it in the sheet. But uh, to find this value, it's actually 4 at the default. So we can search for just like that, then plus jump, set it to 5, minus jump, 4. Now, this is the correct address. It's a static address with no pointers. So even if we restart the game, this will still work. However, if the game updates, this might not work. So we can actually test this one. So remember, plus one, he jumped in game. Now we have to set it back to four to jump again. But now we have our force jump. We will use this whenever we are grounded. We will force a jump. So the other address we need for the sheet is if you're in there or not. So we don't want to press or spam the jump key if we're in hey, the air. We will only hey. force it when we're Push grounded. For that, we will need now we can die the value in game or in the memory. So this one, it's zero when you're grounded. So we will search zero first. And it's a lot of values. Now, the good thing in single player, or you can actually pause the game. So now it's paused and I'm still in there. So now we can uh, search for uh, increased value. And we will not, l not lose any, any values. Because we're always going to be in there as long as we're paused. So the value will increase when we're in the air and it will decrease to zero if we're grounded. So just search for increased value. And now, back to the game, land, search for zero again. Repeat, increase value, zero. I have some hotkeys. But eventually you will find these green values. So it will be one of the green values or addresses, my bad. So it's not going to be the natural spy or not Metro system, my bad. So it's going to be a client.dll address. And we can take all of these. Uh, so it's these three. And we can test them. So the third or the two on the f uh, first row. So these two, they change when you walk. So they are faulty ones. We can just remove them. They will display false values. But this one, it only changes when we're in there. So we can use this to figure out if we're grounded or not. So now we actually have our two offsets that we need. Uh, zero. So I will get uh, another tutorial on how to actually code the sheet. But these are the basics on how to find the offsets, at least for left of the two. It depends on the game. So I'm gonna just write them down. Or you can copy paste them. And there was the... Take the second one, copy. Check if in R. So, uh, the next steps will be in the next tutorial. So, see you boys.